What's up, everybody? This is Peter Von Panda, taking a look at the AYL uh, Capacitive Stylus Pen. Um, I just received this one to check out, and so it hasn't even been opened. This is the box that comes in, very Apple-like. Um, AYL apparently stands for A Young Life. I think it's a... Uh, um, Amazon only type of brand. It comes in this matte black box, which is pretty cool. Um, the only thing I don't really like about the way they uh, print it on the box is that uh, the printing seems to be rather thick, and I, don't, I hate this like um, calligraphy type of font on these things. I wish they would just go with a Helvetica or Arial, something simple, um, make it a little bit more um, classic, uh, I mean, a little bit more, a little more clean look to it, but that's pretty typical for, I feel like, Asian companies, and this one was made in Taiwan, but otherwise, it's a pretty cool little box, so I thought I'd take a look at it, uh, it, uh, slides in like a sleeve, looks like there's a, uh, warranty card, which we don't need, um, and this one that I've got here is the silver one, it also comes in black, it's snapped into this little, uh, paper case and it comes in this little plastic sleeve and again made in Taiwan they put that everywhere pretty proud of it apparently it is a pretty nice little pen um, right at the gate it seems kind of like one of the standard cross pocket pens uh, it's got a decent amount of weight to it um, and it's a little bit uh, it feels like a pretty good build this the silver here with the swirl the swirl pattern it definitely looks like it's painted on the chrome I mean there's nothing about this that screams super high quality but again this is a pretty affordable and uh, or I should say a pretty inexpensive pen it says AYL across the top the nice thing about this is that as you can tell it looks like a pen it doesn't really look like just a stylus and in fact it does have its own uh, it does have a regular pen in it uh, I'll take a quick look at the cartridge it looks like a pretty standard uh, Parker uh, uh, ink cartridge, just the one is a ballpoint pen. Again, you know, there's nothing super high quality about it. It, it certainly feels like if you were to drop this on concrete, uh, the paint might chip. But otherwise, and this, the nib, the, the plastic uh, nib and the neck here are both plastic, um, so these are not metal. But uh, the tips and the uh, the hardware on this side uh, certainly are. So all, all around, it's a pretty cool looking pen. This just snaps on. So it's it's all right. It definitely is a little bit better than some of the competitors competitors out there. I'm sorry. The it's got the standard little balloon type capacitive touch uh, stylus contact point on the end here. And the reason that I think that this has a distinct advantage is one, you certainly have a pen. There's been a lot of times where I've used the stylus. This is like kind of the standard Targus type of stylus that I use with my iPad, and uh, a lot of uh, capacitive touch styluses look like this and are about the si same size and one of the things that I really hate about it is that it's really short and it doesn't really feel like you're using a pen and in fact if you've got big hands like me <laughs> um, it's pretty small to use and you kind of feel like a douchebag but this looks like a pen no one's gonna really think it's a stylus all this this is the balloon part kind of makes it a little obnoxious but um, you could get away with putting this in your pocket the other thing is um, you can use this like a stylus and just the pure length of it makes you feel and makes it look like you're writing with a pen. One of the things I was concerned about is that the clip here, which I definitely like because one, you can tell which end is which and then um, I also slide this into a portfolio a lot of times and it's nice to have that clip, um, that I was worried that it might feel funny writing with it and as I'm holding it here, it's not bad. I, I, su I assume you want to put the clip at the top between your fingers as you're writing although it seems like you could write like this too I was worried about how low this was going to be to the to the rubber here because um, I was worried about maybe scratching the 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 glass on the iPad but that's totally not going to be that's not going to be an issue at all even with the clip down you've got plenty of space but uh, clearly it's going to feel a little bit better putting the clip up um, it also looks like the balloon tip is just a smidge wider and maybe a smidge shallower than the other capacitive stylus that I have. So I have I don't think that that's going to cause any type of problem, but it's just a little bit different. But here, if I put them together, you can definitely see the length difference here. If I line it up right there, you can definitely see that this is going to be a much 
uh, more massive and substantial pen or stylus than the the other piece and so um, you know one of the things that I was really hated is that in the portfolio where I carry my iPad I had this and I also had a standard ballpoint pen of this will eliminate that and also you throw this in your shirt and you don't have to worry about it if you've got one or the other so definitely worth checking out this is about sixteen dollars or something like that uh, on Amazon I haven't seen a big used market on them I, I don't know when they came out but I think they're pretty new uh, I definitely think this is one of the better value out there and will probably be one of the more popular uh, uh, capacitive touch styluses and pen combos so definitely check it out uh, I'll put a link on the video here but um, something that uh, if you use a lot of uh, writing applications like uh, notes pro or something or notes on the iPad uh, I can definitely see having this as I as I take a lot of notes so check it out um, if I have any follow-ups I'll put them here later toodaloo